today we are decorating honey for Christmas. I know, I know, it's very early, so you don't need to come in it's way too early, but the reason why I'm decorating honey right now is because I'm gonna be having a Christmas event here with Honey, and you guys can come and take your Christmas card pictures, so I'm so excited. I'm gonna have all the details for it down below. So I'm just setting it up today to take some pictures with Connor so we can show you guys what they're gonna look like. So I'll be decorating the inside and the outside, so let's go start. Here is Honey pre-Christmas. We are about to get very festive, so I think it's time to put some Christmas music on. I'm gonna go with Dolly Parton's new Christmas album because I love her. So the first thing I'm doing is adding a blanket to the ground. I figured maybe people would want to sit while they take some pictures. Um, and then I added this bench, but looking back, I might remove this green blanket because it might look a little bit messy. Um, and then I added this tree from Hobby Lobby. Um, also, if you guys would like me to kind of film the event with like people taking pictures. I mean, the people who want to be in the video, I could do that. Um, let me know. So maybe if you guys can't come, you can feel like you're there because I would have a whole vlog of the two weekends. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that. So Connor's grandma is so sweet and she found this little camper and it has lights on it and it's just so cute. So I put that under the tree. I also got three of those slides for free so I fixed them up a little bit so I'm gonna make some greens for the slides so I just took some of these like little decorations from um, the Dollar Tree and then the ice skates I got at a thrift store for three dollars so I added some real greens added the fake greens and the little ornament and now I'm just gonna add the ice skates onto this and it is so adorable once this is done being used at the camper I'm gonna add this setup to my front porch If you watched last week's video, then you would have seen that adorable honey sign inside of the camper. Um, so my friend makes them and she made this one right here. So this sign is actually going to be replacing the sleigh ride sign. It just wasn't done in time. So I added a wreath on to the front door. Now I'm going to make some greenery swags. I don't know if that's what they're called. Um, so I just took some greens from outside and then I took these little pieces that I got from um, I think Walmart and Dollar General and just tied them all together, took some green wire and hung these on the windows and it looks so festive. I think this is also really fun to do for your house. So if you don't have a camper, you could also do this to your house and it would make it just look super festive. Connor dropped Wilbur off to the camper and Wilbur was going crazy. I don't know why, he was just like so overly stimulated by all of the Christmas stuff. It was so adorable. So now I'm setting up another area. I feel like this is the romantic area because it has um, Christmas records and a record player. I love Christmas and records. I just feel like it is very romantic and dreamy. So I figured it'd be cute to sit there for people to take pictures. So I bought this Christmas tree from a sketchy website. It was like $130. I did not have a hope in it, but it worked out amazing. And here's what the outside of the camper looks like. I think it came out so well. Um, I'm definitely gonna be adding some more greenery to the top of the camper, like going straight across. Probably gonna add some light draping down from the top of the camper. Um, but I think it came out really cute and now we can go decorate the inside. Connor's grandma also gave me a huge giant wreath, so I think I'm going to decorate the other side of the camper as well, um, like one of the ends of the camper with a big wreath and with lots of like decorations and things like that just for another area for people. Um, but actually a lot of these decorations on the Christmas tree are from the Dollar General, so you guys should definitely go there. I feel like this is like an ad for them, but they just have really cute things this year. Um, and I was super impressed with everything they had. These in particular, I'm so excited for. I got these from the Target um, dollar section. They were $3. 
there are these little lights and it has snow in it and little Christmas trees and they are a battery pack which I love especially for the camper I just feel like it's a lot easier than trying to make sure that there's enough outlets for all of the lights so I'm gonna plug these in actually and just see well not plug them in but put the batteries in and we'll see what they look like oh how cute that is adorable these are definitely worth three dollars i think they're so fun so i'm probably gonna hang actually i have no idea where i'm gonna hang these up i was thinking of putting these um right on this window here but i do have some big um snowflake lights that i think actually could look even cuter there but maybe i will put these here and put the snowflake lights by the bed hmm so i actually make these really fun oops <laughs> I love to make these really fun wreaths so here is one that I made and this is what it looks like not my favorite one but I still think it's cute and then this one is the first one I made and it's my absolute favorite it has been with me through a couple moves but I will say the last move Connor dropped it and this bulb right here dropped and broke oh perfect candy canes are like stuck to it right now here is what this wreath looks like if you guys would like me to make a video on how i made this then let me know this one was my favorite because i used a lot of vintage ornaments i think it'd be fun to do um, like a honey one with like lots of like bees and honey pots and stuff like that for the camper But I haven't made one yet. So if you guys would like a video on how to make these let me know because I could definitely do that and maybe try to make a honey one. I also have This which I got from Dollar General and it was one dollar It says may your holidays be filled with lots of cookies so I figured I would put that on the stove and switch out this one. So I'll do that right now. In the kitchen, this actually matched the towel that I had. So I think I'm going to try to take this down and we'll see if this wreath will sit on here because if it will that might be kind of cute it does fit so maybe i'll put that there i have this little christmas tree that i'm gonna put right here this is probably the best part about campers because i feel like you can just do a completely different style than what your house is campers are meant to just be so fun and eclectic so i really am enjoying decorating with all of this fun stuff because this has not seen daylight in a while since our house is just more traditional Christmas. Um, which I do have a lot of Christmas videos coming for our house, which I'm very excited about. Um, and then I also just put right here this cute little gingerbread house. I think it is so sweet. Um, I also have these really cute Mr. and Mrs. mugs that I think will look really sweet on the table here. So I think what I'm going to do now is hang up these lights i got these for 1.99 but it was half off so i got them for 99 cents which is amazing and i got four boxes of them i think i'm gonna hang some of these outside of the camper um but here is what they look like and i just think it'd be really cute to maybe put these back here in the bedroom area just going across this back window It's so chilly. Thankfully, I had another sweater in my car I just threw on. So I'm going to hang this wreath up right here on the bathroom door. You guys are wondering what this green thing is. It's another one of the lights that we have to still put up. Let's see. Okay, okay, I think we're good, guys. I think we're good. I think it's just little Elfie Man, which I can just re-glue in. That was so scary. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down and try to fix this. 
while this is drying I have some stockings um, I really wanted to get like a mini fake fireplace that throws off heat for the camper because I just thought that would be very cute to have maybe to put it um, on this back window area or something like that um, or maybe put it under here I just think it would like make it feel very cozy and fun I just added these little hooks under here so I'm gonna hang up the stockings I actually just hung them up with tape for right now because I just want to get the, the actual ones that like screw in but just for the video just so you guys can get the idea of it we just worked with what we had so here's the little stockings very sweet I'm gonna put this little vintage tree right here also how crazy is this this is soap and it was clear just like this one but i guess because of the cold it just made it white and it's like it actually feels frozen we had frost on the ground last night so i'm assuming it just really went crazy but i might need to bring this stuff in the house connor is here and he's helping to take all of the old lights out oh it's like two pieces that one that's so interesting um but he's helping to take out that light this one and the one in the bedroom and we're gonna replace them all with the new lights that we got from Amazon so this is super interesting as you guys can see here this is like the original ceiling I guess they I don't know they must have put another ceiling on because this is the same ceiling that original one that's actually in the bathroom so it's really weird because they must have just put something over it because that's what we were thinking when we had to rip out the whole bedroom like all the walls and everything we had assumed that they put something over it i'm not really sure why maybe just they liked the wood better um i'm happy they did because i definitely like this wood ceiling a lot better than this wallpapered one So I also have this vintage tinsel that I got from um, the same place I actually got all of my vintage ornaments from. So I believe it's from like the 50s, um, the person who sold it to me said. So I think I'm going to throw the tinsel right up here. Alright, let's try this one more time. Perfect. All right, we're gonna go tour the inside of Honey. So we first have the Christmas wreath. I love this wreath so much. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but this is from Walmart. It's only $17 and I felt like it was a really great deal. So the inside, oh, she's so cute. I love it. So here is the little seating area. I just threw a couple pillows in here. over here I have my little Christmas tree the Christmas tree is from Target a few years ago the same with the decorations but every year they sell them I did have lights on oh you can kind of see the lights but they're just not it's kind of hard because it's so bright out so you can't really see them right now and then this is a little um, antique angel again I got this at the same um, antique fair that I got all the other vintage Christmas decorations from Here, um, I'm probably going to decorate this a little bit better. I kind of just had some extra things, so I put them right here. Um, I might get like a fake tree. Um, this eventually might be where we keep a TV if we do have a TV here. Um, so this is kind of a work in progress, this little area. So now let's move on to the kitchen. It's also so crazy to have actual lights in here because we haven't really plug the camper in that much so to have the lights on it is just so nice to finally see it all together 
So right here we have a stove. And then I have this cute little deer. If you guys haven't been able to tell, I have a thing for Christmas deer. I just love them so much. And actually I ended up putting the lights from Target on the kitchen window because it fits so perfectly right here. Now on this wall we have um, this door that goes to the bathroom which I still have to do the bathroom over. Oh no! He fell again. I'm going to have to hot glue him back on. I tried to use um, some crazy glue but it obviously didn't work out too well. So we're going to have to glue this little man back. And then over here we have our Christmas stockings. have the bedroom area, we have the garland, some adorable mistletoe, and then when you come inside we have all of the snowflakes. Would this be awkward if this is how I film the outro through this little hole? Um, I don't know if it is, but I'm just gonna do it like this. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Honey all decked out for Christmas. I am so excited. I can't wait for those of you who are coming to take pictures with her. I can't wait to meet you and for you guys to see Honey in real life. But I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!